Okay, so the renal system. The main function of the renal system is blood filtration and fluid balance. So when I say blood filtration, that means getting rid of all that waste and other things that you don't want in your blood. So things like, for example, the nitrogenous waste and then fluid balance. So making sure that you have just the right amount of fluid, you're in good blood pressure, good perfusion of all your vessels, but you're not too volume overloaded, you don't, you're do not you not just filled with edema and completely bloated, you're just right. Okay, so now let's go into kidney embryology. And embryology is going to occur in three different stages, okay? First, you're going to get the, uh, the pronephros. Pronephros is here, it develops from the nephrogenic cord. So first stage, pronephros uh, arises, and then soon it degenerates, degeneration of pronephros, and then the mesonephros is going to come about. And mesonephros is going to function as the interim kidney. And then after after a little bit of while, it's going to start. It's going to do two, either two things. If you're a male, it's going to persist as the Wolfian ducts. And what was the Wolfian ducts? What does that become? Remember that becomes the ductus deferens and other parts of the male reproductive system. And females, the mesonephros will regress. Okay, so you can see now it's starting to degenerate. It's going to go down and degenerate more. And finally, you're going to get development of the metanephros. Metanephros is here. And this is going to become the true kidney. This is going to become the kidney that you currently have in your abdominal area. So it first starts with the development of the ureteric bud. And this ureteric bud is going to induce differentiation, uh, induce formation, actually, of the metanephric mesenchyme. So they're both going to form now. And now they're going to send reciprocal signals. Your ureteric bud is going to send signals to metanephric mesenchyme. Metanephric mesenchyme is going to send signals the other way. And what they're going to do is they're going to drive respective differentiation in the structures that will make up the, ma the mature kidney. Now, if you look at the names, you can kind of tell which what these uh, what the, the ureteric bud and the metanephric mesenchyme are going to become. The ureteric bud, you just focus on that word, the ureter. So it's going to be uh, basically the connecting system of the kidney. So the collecting tubules, ducts, major minor calyces, renal pelvis, and ureters. Um, and we will talk more about anatomy later, but it's the stuff... That's not the it's not the parenchyma of the kidney. It's the stuff that's gonna the end where all the urine's gonna drain out. And then the metanephric mesenchyme is it's like the mesenchyma tissue. It's gonna develop into parts of kidney before the collecting ducts. Okay, so that's why it's in, that's termed the mesenchyme. Okay, so that's it for embryology. Now we're gonna talk about the pathology that happens in development.